multiple lines of video, so I should stay live. Yes. Yeah, yes. Hey, it's Norm from Tested, and I'm joined by... Frank from Tested. Frank from Tested. We're here at Comic-Con 2015 to unveil, well... The Rancor Project. The Rancor Project. It's complete. <laughs> this is something, it's hopefully a surprise to you guys. You've been working on this, it's a rush job for like... About three and a half weeks. Three and a half weeks, an incredible job. But let's talk about how this project came to fruition. You want to do a Rancor suit. Yeah. Because you had saw that in the original Star Wars production, they test fitted a suit. Yeah, they tried to build a suit. It was all foam fabricated. I don't think that they used any of it in the final Return of the Jedi filming, but I wanted to do this. And what's great is that the reference you had was something directly from the archives. You, we worked with Phil Tippett before, mm -hmm. and he sculpted and painted that original Rancor yeah. maquette. Yeah, um, and so I called up Phil and said, hey, what reference do you have that I haven't found on the internet? And he sent me pictures of his original sculpture, of that whole foam fabricated suit process. So I had tons of really amazing reference for this suit. Plus I had photos from the archives when I went and visited there once. Oh, wow, so in the projects we've done with you in the past, Zoidberg Project, Farnsworth Project, different, different types of fabrication. Mm -hmm. One's like a mask, yeah. one's a makeup. This is a full body suit yep. and it's made of foam so you can walk around. It's kind of like when you uh, see a, a parade, mm -hmm. like those foam suits at uh, Disneyland. Yeah, like a something. mascot costume. Exactly, yeah. a mascot. Now can you talk briefly about that foam fabrication? Well, I had a really great team on the whole project. I had Ben Bayuth help me pattern and make the foundation for this whole thing. So it's a like L200 and mat mattress foam frame inside. And then me and a, a, my buddy named David, we did all the texture and the wrinkling on this. And then I, I also had um, Adam Bean help me sculpt the head. And then uh, Regina, who works in my shop, helped me on the teeth. So I've just been throwing everybody and everything I can to build this as fast as I can. And it's a combination of a bunch of different processes. There's traditional maquette sculpting. Yep. There's a foam pattern. Patterning. Mm -hmm. There's making a mold and casting, all these processes, different skills. So we're actually going to show you those skills and those processes in future how-to videos. Uh, those are going to be sponsored by Diagostina USA. They made that Millennium Falcon kit. That's so awesome. thank you to them for making this possible. Yeah. Um, now talk about the faint paint finish, because this is a, the first time I've seen this. Yeah. This is foam, but there's so much texturing. Can you talk about the paint job? Well, this is the same kind of paint job we've done on Zoidberg and, and on the, uh, the District 9 hand and all kinds of other things that we've done. This is all rubber cement paint. It's rubber cement thinned out with naphtha and then oil paint for pigment. And I just basically, I have a, a gun called an Iwata TH and I just went to town on this and painted the whole thing with a TH. Oh my God, and these eyes, it's such a great, like shiny black eye. Well, there's a, there's a backstory to this. When Phil put the eyes in the original Rancor, all it is is a ball bearing that he colored with a Sharpie. So what I did is I painted these balls chrome first, and then I just lightly misted some black on so it still has a metallic-y finish and it gets that real good gleam. And then I used an automotive finish to give it a real nice shine. Oh my goodness, and tons of details, of course. He has the shackle. We actually got a little vintage toy Luke yeah. to put on there. How in, appropriate. It was like the Return of the Jedi came with the bone. Yep. In, in the 11th hour, we built the shackle. Um, Ratna and Frank, a couple other people that work in my shop, they just threw this together in about a half an hour. Oh my god. This was like a mad dash to finish. And something also cool is that we're using some interesting technology for you to see through it. Because yes. there's no view ports. There's actually a camera, a Luminaire, FPV camera, yep. like flying quadcopters, hidden there, that's gonna get wired into your head and Everywhere. you're gonna wear fat sharks. Fat shark FPV goggles so you can make your way around San Diego for Comic-Con. Well, let's just get to it. Let's suit you up inside the Rancor. Say hi to the fans right after this. Hey, it's Norm, and I want to let you know about Diagostini Modelspace.com's one-to-one scale replica of the Empire Strikes Back Millennium Falcon movie prop. It's a kit that's split into a 25-month subscription, and at $59.99 a month, you get all the parts, four great magazines, and tons of Star Wars facts and photos and easy-to-follow instructions. The kit pieces are high-quality die-cast and detailed resin parts, and the model is really easy to build. You can find tons of resources online in the Model Space forum and videos like the ones we shot for Tested. Not that bad. Hold its foot. Hold on. And you can hear him still? Yeah. Not yet. Joey, you can hear me, right? Yeah. Okay, can they... I need to get stuff. I need uh, the camera and the goggles over here. Yeah, just give me, a, give me a minute. I gotta plug in everything. You guys can uh, Velcro me up. 
Uh, turn, turn to the right again, right? There we go. Perfect. Will, if you want to actually like hold his hand like you're holding his hand, that would be fun too. And you could bend his fingers, they're all on armature wire. Can I put him on my shoulder? Yeah, sure. Here's a good place to stop and take photos. Feel the rage, feel the rage. He's coming for you, Ron. Um, I'm warm and sweaty, but it's okay. Okay, we're gonna go down that way. Stay right here. Good, 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 good. Okay. Un Velcro? Nope. Just lift. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. How are you doing? I'm warm. Holy shit. I'm gonna go I'm gonna grab you some water. Oh Frank! I did it. You did it! Oh my uh, god, how was that? I don't know, I think I need to find something hotter next year for Comic-Con. Yeah. yeah. Uh visibility? Visibility is great. The the goggles give a real nice wide field of view. I was able to kind of tell where people are. Oh the only God. thing I think I want to upgrade is to make the arms a little bit easier to control. Yeah, so there are mechs in the arms. You want to make it next year maybe a little more grabbier. Well, I want to make it so that the arms can support themselves a little bit more because it's really hard to lift. There's so much in here that you don't see. Your arms only go up to the elbows. Yeah. And you're standing up tall while it looks yeah. like the Rancor is crouched. Oh. Yeah, I'm standing straight up and the legs are bent. So amazing. Of course, we have all the process videos coming in a few weeks on Tested, sponsored by the Agostina USA Model Space. Thank you to them for bringing this project to Comic Con, and hopefully, we'll see this at future conventions. Yeah, let's bring it out other places. You did it! <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not heavy at all. Yeah, it's just, it's just hot. <laughs> okay, ready to. Uh, let's carry. Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry, Bill. Sorry, Bill. Straighten me out. <laughs> it's okay. Let me help you.